that was super weird. My camera was filming in like black and white. Anyways, <laughs> good morning everybody. Welcome to another day of Vlogmas. If you watched yesterday's Vlogmas, which was, a, it was a part one and a part two. Part two came out yesterday. I mentioned that tonight we're doing something very exciting. I wish for this particular video I could turn my setup around and film showing you guys the outside because it would be perfect. It's like a winter wonderland outside right now. All I see is snow. <laughs> Instead of doing like a traditional vlogmas follow me around kind of day, we are going to be doing an unboxing and a little bit of a makeup tutorial. Usually my makeup tutorials are now posted to TikTok and Instagram, but once in a while I'll come on my YouTube channel uh, where, I all, where I started <laughs> and uh, do a tutorial for you guys, especially if it has an unboxing. So, again, if you saw part two, we did open the box at the very end. Um, I didn't open the actual package. I wanted to, but I waited like a good girl. <laughs> but we, from ColourPop, I ordered from their um, Frozen collection. But you guys, oh, yes. I'm so excited. I was just as excited last night, but now I actually get to open it <laughs> yay I get to open um, I purchased the Disney Frozen Elsa kit I am so pumped about this you don't even know um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at each product we're just gonna open up the box see what's inside and then I'm gonna try to create a tutorial using it today my eyes are still kind of paint um, stained pink <laughs> from yesterday's look I used a lot of pink shadow um, so that's why my eyes are so discolored today but right out of the plastic it's so beautiful like I actually am so excited about this box I love not only playing with makeup but like collecting makeup like I would love to find a place to display this like I will not throw out this box that's for sure it's tied with a beautiful little bow and then on the back it doesn't show the actual like packaging but it shows what's inside so we have a palette a luxe lipstick an ultra glossy lip and a glitter gel and I think I'm most excited about the eye products the uh, eyeshadow palette and the glitter gel so we're just gonna go ahead and open it up and see what is inside ready ah! <laughs> excited I'm sorry I love the big snowflake on the top and everything honestly like I can't even I'm really excited <laughs> about this so let me go ahead and show you the biggest piece which is the palette Ooh, it's heavy it's got some weight to it um, it has beautiful Elsa on the front and I think her hair is tied like in the ponytail shade names as well cuddle close fire northern lights gale Flurry water, um, ice crystals. Oh, I can't read. I can't read the other one either. Anyways, let's open her up. Oh, girl. Oh, sorry. One of these caught my eye immediately. It's like that middle one. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, oh, it's so beautiful. We're going to do a little bit of swatching, but I just want to go through each product first. It does have a little plastic covering as well and the there's a little mirror inside that is also protected by plastic next I guess I'll show you the lip products so the lipstick comes in this little frozen 2 packaging I am such a sucker for packaging I'm so excited it's like this beautiful metallic blue it has the snowflakes on it so let's go ahead Ooh. okay so this is definitely a color that like when you see pictures of Elsa or I was paying attention to her makeup in the in, when I was watching the movie it's not like a red but it's more like a light burgundy it has a lot of pigment but it's not like super super in your face so it's a nice subtle color and it's actually really perfect for the season so we'll definitely give that a try and then the gloss I mean I can swatch it but it's not really going to show up very much. The packaging, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. It has the snowflake on the packaging, and then the cover matches... wants to focus on my face. The cover matches the lipstick, kind of like that metallic blue with the snowflakes again. And then the last product in here is the gel, 
Oh my goodness. The It comes in like a little, it's a plastic container, which a girl can appreciate. <laughs> a clumsy girl can appreciate. But again, that like metallic blue packaging with the snowflake. And then can we just look at that for a second? I hope, I hope it's showing up on camera or at least giving it some justice. It is beautiful. Let's open it. I'm assuming it has... It has a little safety seal. Oh my gosh, I'm really excited to play with this right now. Like, I'm okay, let's do some swatching and then we will come up with some sort of look today. So, I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow palette. I did just show you the lipsticks. I didn't swatch the gloss just because I feel like, I don't know, I guess I can, but um, it's just a beautiful glittery gloss but it has like a lot of sparkle in it. I know it's not gonna show up much on camera, that's why I didn't really bother, but just to show you guys. So let's go ahead, go through the palette and do a little bit of swatching and see what colors we have. So this one is, oh, I like how they have the names on the front too. You guys can barely see it, but if you see under some of the names, under some of the shadows you can see the names. I'm a real stickler for that because especially because I do makeup tutorials like it's just so much easier instead of like flipping back and forth trying to match it. So the first we're gonna start with the first row then the second row then the last row. Start. The One of the lightest colors is called Cuddle Close and this is one of the shimmer colors. It looked really white on camera, but it actually comes off a little bit pink. Next we have Fire, which is their mattes, which is kind of like a mauve. That's super pretty. Could be a really pretty transition shade. And then the last one on the top row is called Northern Lights, and this is another shimmery color. I'm gonna swatch that one again, but just like down here so you can see it a little bit easier. So there is Northern Lights. It kind of like, I don't know, has a lot of reflective pigment in it. Second row, first one is called Gale. This is another shimmer, but this one yeah, definitely looks much more purple. So there is, there is Gale. Then this one, this one I think caught my interest the most. It is called Flurry. I don't know if it's like a pressed glitter. Ooh, okay, this one might swatch weird, but this is gonna be like a beautiful topper. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so... <laughs> It doesn't have like a clean swatch or something, like that's a color that I would like tap on. And then next to it, this is probably one of my favorite colors, it's kind of like a periwinkle, it's called Water. I mean it makes sense because of the name, but it definitely turns out a little bit more blue than it looks in pan. Like it looks blue in the pan for sure, but it looks more like a periwinkle, but when you actually swatch it, um, it's just a really, really nice blue. The last row, we're gonna start, oh, Awakened. That's one of the words that I couldn't read on the back. It's kinda like a red with some sparkle in it. Ooh. Very, very pretty. Then we have Ice Crystals, which is like a just pure silver. Ooh, that one swatched really nice, holy smokes. And then the last one is another matte. Ooh, this one's really, really creamy as well. That's pretty. So it's definitely the darkest shade in the palette, but um, that'd be like a really nice crease shade to like deepen up your entire look. So that is the entire palette. The last thing that I'm gonna swatch is the glitter gel. So it is just like a jelly. Oh my goodness. I am so excited about this product. <laughs> We're gonna put it here, I guess. <gasps> oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> now that we've swatched all the products, I am going to create some sort of makeup look with it. I'm definitely gonna start with the eyes because I don't know what kind of fallout we're gonna be dealing with. I'm gonna move you guys in nice and close. I am going to step off a camera real quick because I do have a new brow product that I picked up again in yesterday's um, vlog mist, but this is precisely my brow um, pencil. And this is in neutral deep brown, I believe. So I'm gonna fill in my brows off camera real quick. And then as soon as I come back, we will play with some makeup. Sorry, that was strange. We had minor technical difficulties. Um, 
All I was saying is that I am going to first take water, which is kind of this periwinkle blue. And I'm just going to start by just stippling this on my crease. Usually when I'm doing eye makeup looks with different colors in my crease and stuff, I will work with kind of the medium shade. So there'll be a lighter shade that goes on top and then a darker shade that will intense the crease even further. I apologize. I'm so stuffy as well. I wish I wasn't sick today, but... I really wanted to film this video, so I apologize for the sniffing and congested uh, voice. So I'm not really doing any blending. All I'm doing is applying the color um, pretty much where I want it to go. I stop blending up a little lower than where I actually want the color to stop. And then I always kind of... Depends on the look that I'm going for. Sometimes I'll wing it out or smoke it out, but for the m majority of the time, I just kind of make like a rainbow shape in my crease. I am just going to make sure that this color is packed into that outer V as well, that outer like third of my eye. Then what I do is take a smaller, more precise blending brush. This one's a little fluffier, but it's still quite small. And uh, with no product on it, you can go in a little bit with the blue if you wanted to, but I'm going to start with no product and just start blending the edge of this blue. If you feel like you need to go in with a little more color, I'll pick up that blue again. I just feel like I need a little bit more maybe in this inner corner. Next, I'm going to pick up um, Fire on the same brush that we were just using. You know what? I'm just going to use this mirror. <laughs> Conveniently comes with one. And I'm just going to sweep this right where we stopped blending that blue. Now if I feel like I put too much of one color, I can always go back into the blue. Blend that in again. Next I really want to deep... Next, I really want to go ahead and deepen up the crease. So what I'm going to do is I like using mattes for my crease. So I'm going to take this one, which is Spirit Rift or something. I don't know. The darkest, the darkest one in the palette. And same thing. I'm just going to kind of stipple the product on. So I'm going to start not as high as the blue, but I'm just going to press the color into my crease and of course you'll see it that it's going onto my lid but that's completely okay don't worry about that really just want to get the color on here and then I'll worry about blending again later okay once I have my <laughs> I look terrifying <laughs> Woo! <laughs> once I have my two um, next rainbow shapes I'm going to go back into that fluffy brush um, with no product again and same thing that we did with the blue I'm just going to start smoking out the edge that way it has a really nice blend into the blue so there's the before and there's after the blend again I'm not worried about any of the eyeshadow that's actually on my lid all of that is going to be gone in a minute I'm just worried about the burgundy blending in with, with the blue now at this point in the makeup look you could always go in with a little bit of makeup remover and like a q-tip and remove what's on the lid I'm just going to skip that part I don't think it's always necessary I find that again using this concealer um really helps take that away and then I have this little rounded brush honestly this came from an acrylic set from like Michaels I've never used it for paint <laughs> I only use it for my makeup um, but I found the shape to be really really helpful so I just pick up a little bit on the back of my hand and wipe away any excess product again looking down into the mirror will definitely help and raising that brow but I want to cut it a little bit below that purple and by purple, I meant burgundy, but I, I still want that burgundy color to be seen. So I kind of drag the product down straight. And then from there, I start feathering out the concealer to either side. And I'm just following the shape of my lid as I'm applying this concealer. And I'm kind of patting it as I go as well. As I get to the outer corner, I'm not going to completely conceal it because I want some of that purple to be seen on my lid. Now you'll definitely notice that the concealer looks quite purple at this point. 
And that's just because it was mixing with the shadow that was still on my lid. So if you want like more of a pure white, you can either go in with another layer of concealer, but I just feel like that can make your eyes like a little bit heavy, the more product that you add onto it. Um, or you can just do the makeup remover in the beginning. But I, I just, I go for it because I've never had an issue covering that up or anything. So... Once I have my concealer on, the next thing I like to do is go with the lightest shade that I'm going to use on my lid. In this case, I think I'm going to go in with Ice Crystals, which is that silver color on the bottom. And all I'm going to do is pretty much pack this all over... Woo! <laughs> pack this all over my lid. I'm going to get as close to the edge of that concealer as I possibly can. It does help to have like little tiny brushes they do sell them so you can get like right into that into that um cut crease but honestly this flat shader works just fine i think i'm going to stop it about midway a little more than midway so when we start blending there's a little bit of color there but i think that's good so next i'm going to go i'm going to go into gale and again i'm going to follow kind of that stippling technique where i'm not really wiping but I, this is going to kind of be my middle color. So right where I ended Ice Crystals, I'm just going to start packing Gale on right up to the burgundy on the outer corner. And then using that exact same brush that I just used, I'm going back into our burgundy because I want to push this dark color farther onto the lids. Using the same technique though, I'm kind of stippling and then using very, very, very soft swiping motions to blend the color. You notice this whole time I'm not worrying about what's ending up down here. There definitely is fallout, but it could be much worse because we are using dark colors. So the fallout really isn't that bad in this palette. Um, but I'm gonna take the blend one step further, take that brush again that's kind of fluffy and small with no product, and I'm just going to help blend that darkest color into the lid even further. I really want to use this gel. <laughs> I've been eyeballing it this entire time. I really, really want to use it. And I'm going to pick up some of the product and I'm basically going to put it on where I put the, I, the ice crystal, the silver color on my lid. And I'm just sort of letting it ombre into the rest of my lid. So I'm not packing it all over my lid. It's pretty much in that center half, inner half. <laughs> So next I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and just wipe away any of this fallout left. Next I'm going to take Cuddle Close which is the lightest shade in this palette and I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight as well as my brow bone highlight. And then what I want to even do is take a little bit of flurry. And this one's kind of heartless, it's not like an eyeshadow and it's not like the gel, it's just kind of like a loose glitter. But I want to pack this, oh that's so pretty it's like finer glitters than the gel itself and then we're kind of backtracking a little bit um for my lower lash line i need to figure out what color i want to do so i think i'm going to do the blue i'm going to just sweep this on my lower lash line connecting it to the outer corner and for like intense looks like this or very glamorous looks i tend to like to smoke out the color quite a bit and then lastly for shadow i'm going back into that burgundy and i'm just going to sweep it but i'm going to keep it really close to my lash line and honestly keeping it just on my outer third I like that. I'm not even going to bring it all the way in. I'm just going to keep it in that outer corner. Let me go ahead do my face real quick and then we'll come back and finish up the look. All right, I'm back and my face is pretty much done and powdered. I pretty much just leave like contour, blush, and highlight. So we're going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to take my liquid vinyl liner from NYX and I'm not going to go crazy with the wing, but I am going to add a little one here. As I bring the line in, I'm going to keep it very, very thin and very close to my lashes. Adding a little bit of mascara. This is Telescopic from L'Oreal. And then for lashes today, I am using Huda Beauty's Hoodie um, number 23 lashes. Next, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild bronzer. This is fairly new product, but I actually really like it. It's super affordable. It's at the drugstore. It's Wet n Wild. Um, and I really love the color. I just take a big fluffy brush. Honestly, I think this brush is an elf brush too. <laughs> I think I'm going to skip blush today. Um, 
I think we're just gonna do the lips. A little bit of highlighter, setting spray, and then call it a look. This is the palette that I've been using and really loving from Morphe. It's the Morphe uh, 8Z palette. And I think for today, because we have such a frosty kind of look, I'm gonna take this top one, which is called Stardust. And I'm just gonna sweep this right on top of my cheekbones. The pretty thing is it's also not like a pure white. It kind of has pink reflective in it. Um, but I've always found that the top row is kind of more of a subtle highlight where these are a little bit more intense. So just to add a little bit of color, I'm going to go in with extra too. So Stardust and extra. And then last but not least for lips, I am going to try the lipstick that came with this. So this is called Little Snow. I don't know how well it's going to look with my lips or my makeup today, but I still want to try it on for you guys. My lips are so dry. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Honestly, the color is really pretty and I don't think it goes too bad. I mean, it's it's the whole purple and burgundy look that Elsa has going on in the movie as well. Um, I am happy that I'm not using a matte liquid lipstick today though because my lips are very, very, very dry from this season. I've been combating that with like a lot of coconut oil and stuff, but um, unfortunately a lot of the skin has kind of died and flaking away, which sounds disgusting, but I am going to add a little bit of the lip gloss as a topper. It is extremely subtle, so it's not like a super glittery lip gloss. I am just going to wipe that off because I don't want to put that back into the container and ruin the rest of the lip gloss. To finish off today's look, I'm using the Morphe and Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Mist. All right, and there we go. Let me go ahead. I got to fix up my hair because I got to head into work. Um, but I will kind of give you guys my final thoughts and opinions about this collection. Okay, guys, so my final thoughts about this product. I really, really, really love it. I'm not going to lie. I honestly had really high hopes because I am a big fan of ColourPop. Um, I really do love a lot of their products. But I've never purchased, like, a full kit. And the fact that we used literally every product in this kit, like, nothing went to waste um, to create today's look, I am super stoked about. Honestly, the price point wasn't bad either. I'm really 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 debating on getting Anna's palette now for her kit too because I want it so bad um, but I'm blown away I am so excited to have like this collection piece um, not only to play with but just to look beautiful as well Colourpop I think nailed the packaging um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's look I really enjoy it a lot actually <laughs> I really like it. You know, it kind of has like that vampy vibe with the lip, but with the eyes, they're super glamorous and super snowy and stuff. So you could always certainly opt out if you want to do just like a nude lip with the look. I think that would look stunning as well. Um, like I said, I'm trying to kind of stay away from the um, mattes today, but I do. Let me see if I can find very quickly uh, a non- matte like nude color just to show you guys another option also because I'm personally going to work uh, I don't like wearing red lipsticks to work unless it's a matte just to work though because I don't have the opportunity to like pay attention if it's on my mouth or my teeth or it kind of just gets everywhere when I'm really busy um, so let me go see what I can find real quick so there's another option I don't think it's perfect with the look um, but that red lipstick definitely did stain a little bit but anyways um, you could definitely opt for a nude like I have much more truer nudes but again they're all kind of mattes and my lips <sighs> are crying for help. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed. I will include this super quick clip at the end of this video showing you what I put together from Instagram for this video if you're interested. Um, all my social medias are linked down below, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Uh, we have the rest of the week to vlog as well, including pregnancy diaries. So I'm really excited to spend the rest of the week with you guys and the rest of... Uh, December vlogging. <laughs> um, let me know if you guys are interested in seeing the Anna package. I was I was going back and forth. Like I really didn't know which one I wanted because I really wanted both. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.